You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. What's, is it Frog Hopper? What's the, that video game? Frogger. 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 Yeah, that's what my brain is doing right now. This is so perfect, Greg Chaley. Thanks mm. for taking a moment out of your editing to do this at the perfect time. Because the only podcast note I had written down while you were away on uh, uh, special operations... We should always talk on the podcast in retraining. like weird code. <laughs> it was retraining. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was special operations. You had to do some kind of deep cover work for the corporation. The baby has been shaken, Greg Chaley. Thank you for your service. The only podcast note I had written down was writing high. Because for... uh. A Halley's Comet moment. I had the house to myself completely for just a brief moment in time. I think that lady sang. Well, we were on special assignment. Yeah. There was a, a even flash. fucking bingo got <laughs> sent to a mental institution. To uh, it, uh, every domino was falling my way. Dave Rader was out of town. He doesn't go out of town unless it's for a woman. Uh, and hopefully that uh, t- <laughs> trip to the Ukraine worked out for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the paperwork in motion, I'm sure. <laughs> so that first day, I I took an edible. Just knowing that there's nobody in the compound but me, which never happens. Like, is, uh, you guys don't even, you're not even on the same side of the, you're in a separate, but just knowing you're there, I don't even jack off, but just the idea that uh, fucking Chaley, like you did to me tonight while I was, <laughs> again, writing high, and instead of, Coming to any of the doors. Yeah. You knocked on a window I couldn't see through that's right next to my head and fucking scared the yeah. shit out of me. I lost two of the best bits I would have written in that <laughs> high moment. Because <laughs> I scared the shit out of you. And, yeah, it's got to be weird because uh, it was dark on the patio and I was out in the window like creepy looking in. And then that the glow of the bug zapper and then that sound of it zapping sounding, you know. I usually walk up like I've got Frankenstein shoes on, like clump, 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 clump. But I didn't think about it. And I, Sometimes people that know to just walk in, knock and scare the fuck yeah. out of me. Who? Why would you knock? Why wouldn't you just come in? That's way creepier. <laughs> <laughs> but that day I sat with that piece of knowing that I'm all by myself and uh, I had... And I, I was writing to a, a, a place where I had my legal pad writing out the idea I had just thought of, but the ideas that are coming in that quickly, I had to have a second pad so I could jot over and jot down <laughs> a bullet point for what I'm writing, uh, I'm about to write coming up. So I, and then I look back at the second pad. It was eight hours, eight solid hours of not just writing, but enjoying writing to the point where I had an audience in my head, which is what has just been happening tonight while I'm high writing again. <laughs> like, and I'm, I, I, I'm having comebacks. I, I, I get callbacks. I'm doing crowd rap hecklers. I'm dealing with them. All, in this, inner, all this inner dialogue is oh going my God. on. Uh, you got to remind me of the joke that I wrote for fucking Cheyenne, Wyoming. And then I, I, I anticipate, I, I heard the, the pause of ooze and then the applause of knowing. And I'm like, okay, I will never fucking remember to do this in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Cause this is just this imaginary opening of my set. Like everything I'm going through is high writing, I think is a terrible thing, <laughs> but we're going to find out. <laughs> well, the audiences are going to find out. <laughs> We're just going to keep plowing through. Well, I'm uh, I'm not going to be high. Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah. <laughs> I love that your notepad had an assistant. <laughs> Another notepad. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking... It, it's, it's, it's worked out. I just can't remember how to consolidate shit. Like, I'm writing stuff into my fucking computer now, which I never do, but I'm like, no, I work off a legal pad, yeah. so I'm writing it... I'm doubling it down by writing it longhand in a legal pad. Uh... Uh, one of the things I'm like, oh, oh, that's a fucking funny. And I just riffed it to Tracy. Uh, Tracy is Tracy. Uh, Dave Raider's close. But of course, if you've read my book, you know, Tracy, there's no one better to write around because she does crosswords or looks at sheet music or knits <laughs> coasters. Whatever she's doing. And she's there to fucking listen to you and go, I, shouldn't you say it like that at best? Raider's good like that too. Uh, but he has to go to bed early before you're high. He can't make an old fashion this either. fucking great <laughs> audience. Fucking Cheyenne is already a good audience, but I'm having a little bit of trouble with a couple of you. But I've shut you down. Like, this is the problem. Did you ask any of them to leave? The bouncer in your head? <laughs> He's all right. He's all right. I, I, <laughs> riff, no, I, I riffed through uh, this. Like, oh, that's a good. Uh, like, And I'm like, I, I should not write down opening lines. Like. It's like when you first started like, writing. Like I'm, writing, I'm writing spontaneous lines to an audience and a venue that I don't know. <laughs> but I said that and I go, you know what? I'm going to write that down anyway because I'm high. I should write everything down. When you're high in writing, write it all down and then pick through the sewage in the morning. It's like thrift store shopping. Yeah. Shit, 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 shit. Half price, but still shit, 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 shit. And occasionally... Boy, I'm going to write that down. And she goes, I hate to tell you, um, Erickson opened with that almost verbatim line the other night at some unattended fucking thing. So I just called Erickson. I said, hey, I explained that to him. I go, <laughs> want I'm 25 still, bucks? <laughs> no, I said, I'm still using it because, you know, if yeah. a fucking tree falls alone in a forest. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of gigs coming up. Uh, by the way, Cheyenne, get ready, Cheyenne, Wyoming, at Dillinger's on August 18th. You're going to get to see this one-man show with uh, 300 voices in his head. <laughs> yeah, no, that's Try the to problem. Be recreated, not high. <laughs> the, the the problem is the first time I wrote high when everyone was gone, I just I was writing like. I'm doing this set like I'm riffing it. I, I just keep writing. What would I continue to say? How does this segue like in real time? Uh, and in the morning I go, yeah, there's not a lot of fucking closer here. <laughs> a lot of filler, a lot of filler material, but that's kind of what I want to do is go out and just. I'm not coming out with some fucking stark reality that I've been holding back from you. <laughs> no. Uh, s have some fucking fun. That's what I want to do. I want to Kreischer it up a little bit. <laughs> Sans the taking off of my shirt because my suits... Actually, I packed a couple of suits that are a bit generic and then I packed a fun one. I packed the anchor suit. Just in case I'm feeling a little frisky that night. Randolph was asking, uh, wait, you guys are packing oh, all shit. You Did you bring cigarettes? Oh, uh, yeah. oh my There's fucking somewhere. God. Hang on. Do we have that emergency? <laughs> if this was a real emergency. <laughs> no, I, I got a bleep sound. That's. <laughs> they heard it. You didn't. Uh, so Randolph was asking, he goes, because he said something about, uh, like he's he's still working with Tarek over at the studio and stuff, and uh, I said, yeah, yeah, like tomorrow we're, I'm gonna, you know, Doug and I are gonna like do our like show our suits and everything, and how you'd already started packing. He's like, wait, you guys aren't leaving for like a week? And I go, <laughs> I go, yeah, that's just that's the normal for Doug is to start getting things ready way in advance, and for me, it's not. It's my I'm the night before, but I'm I'm committed oh, to doing it now. We too. are in Tucson the night before. Yes, booked yes, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I already yeah. booked it. And uh, I, it's all, it, everything else is taken care of too for while we're gone. So yeah, we'll figure out uh, bingo. Uh, I guess this would be an update podcast for bingo. She's uh, 
She's doing better. The facility, uh, not good. And she's, uh, she knows better than we do. Like I said, I'll get you out of there at any time. They're not, they're not, uh, like the chopper out of Hanoi. <laughs> yeah. Like a guy that has a pro bono attorney. <laughs> We're going to zip line you out of there, bingo. We need we need you to be up in the tallest tree. She has asked, "Can you get a bulldozer?" (laughs) She has she has some funny moments. I'll save them for when she gets out. Like she's saying, "No, I still really need to wait for the med change." But in the meantime, they're like denying blankets of fucking inmate. Yeah, that is the right word, inmate. Her, well, f- her friend. Oh, this was the best moment ever. Thank you. Anyone listening? Any, any killer termite? That's a, a Navy SEAL 16 kind of fucking designation. But just the general listener, you have no idea how happy, like tears, this made me after days of her just being alone and not abused by the staff, but just they're just shitty people that have shitty jobs that don't seem to realize those are sentient human beings that you're dealing with. A new intake came in, saw her and said, oh, my God, you're bingo. (laughs) Her and her husband are fans of bingo and I (laughs) and she was on bingo's calling me on the hallway fucking pay phone yeah you have no direct contact everything no. is through like yeah. is there they fucking we're looking she, for the girl with blue she hair she was upset one day because for arts and crafts which is their fucking <laughs> mental health care <laughs> just exactly. like phoenix yeah oh they were giving out small pieces of play-doh and they ran out right before they got to her and she goes no i want play-doh it was terrible play-doh and it was white like they didn't even have a colored play-doh and i didn't get my play-doh when you buy play-doh in bulk white is cheaper (laughs) it's like t-shirts it's like (laughs) t-shirts all the play-doh comes in one (laughs) any color as long as your color is white look you're henry ford (laughs) you're buying so much i would suggest the white (laughs) i mean you're buying for the state of of arizona so no it's fucking brutal to listen to but she once i say hey we can we haven't gone social media uh we haven't done anything because you don't want her stay to get more miserable mm-hmm. because someone caused a ruckus. Yeah. She caused a ruckus today. They've been telling you, you have to take a shower. You really have to wash your hair. Uh, well, you know how gross we are. But I mean, yeah, that's the one thing that like the freedom of not being locked up is I don't, there's maybe a month goes by and Biko doesn't take a shower. It's like, Comfort. Comfort, yes. Sorry. And she I'm bathes. Going. She doesn't shower. Yeah, yeah. There has to. Oh, well, she. So what happens well, there? See, this is what happened. Oh, my God. She. Well, <laughs> Bingo and I are notorious for fucking not bathing or showering or so much as a, a whore bath in a fucking. Uh, a, 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 a triple J. It's not even the right. No, fucking, flying J. Flying, flying J. Yeah. This is Boy, how, how long I've been long off the road. Maybe <laughs> the triple T. That's no, like the pilot. And no, what it's, it's a, whatever. That's what the I thought flying he was talking J. About. God damn it! I am ill-equipped. That's why I started packing a week yeah. before because uh, <laughs> you forgot. <laughs> so, so 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 Bingo warns them. Oh my uh, blue hair! If I shower. It's going to be blue all over the shower. It's going to be turquoise, and they won't believe me. <laughs> oh, did I, did we talk about the Johnny Depp I've thing on the even, last podcast? Not, um, uh, I think I, so. Yeah, 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 because that spawned, that spawned everything, and that's yeah. on Patreon only, so get on over to uh, patreon.com slash podcast. Yeah, eventually they, uh, they found not one, but several pictures of her with Johnny Depp, so... 
They cut her some slack mm. as far as the crazy goes. But so they this, took her out of the crazy job. But they Depp did board. not believe that <laughs> her showering would ruin their fucking shower. So today she's like, I'm going to show up. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, no, I'm going to show. And she said it was like no one would believe on the ward how much she just ruined the fucking <laughs> shower. So I, she goes, I don't know what to do. I'm going to be in trouble. I go, no, you warn them. Go up and apologize to the desk. There's only like, oh, fuck, I forget that part. The new intake. Remind me. No, we'll get back. You, you, you did start that, yeah. but you, you go okay. to the shower. So, so, uh, <laughs> I said, just apologize and say, I'm sorry, but I did tell you this would happen. And evidently the, they went in and looked at the shower and she goes, now no one on the ward believes me, just like Johnny Depp. <laughs> so they had everyone. There's only a dozen people or so on the yeah. ward. March past as they had the room door open and the shower door open. Evidently, it was just completely fucking turquoise the entire <laughs> thing. And but she she said they did it in a funny way. Yeah, which uh, they don't seem to be. That's to their benefit. I mean, that, I mean that's to their. She gets credit. War, she gets ward cred. Because yeah. I was like, oh, maybe all these other things, maybe those knock-knock jokes are true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th- with Bingo, when she gets her hair dyed, she will go days before even washing it out. Right. So and she could have had yeah. very fresh yeah. eye in it could, Yeah, like and down to, her, down to her yeah. temples yeah. is blue. Her yeah. hands are blue from Everything dying. she put her head against. Yeah. And, and uh, the other thing is, is that when she does, she takes a bath. Mm-hmm. She doesn't take a shower. And and a shower would vigorously like work out all the extra dye because after an hour or two, no more is being soaked into the hair. I I don't tell yeah. her that because that's that's not going to change what she does. But that's just the that's the physics of what's happening yeah. with the hair. And it is so funny because I, I was like saturation three, point. Three exactly. days later, I'm like, you still have it. You still see it all over her hairline. It's like yeah, ah, it's Eddie Monster yeah. who we missed. <laughs> yeah, how did that go? No, I was I was fucking in lockdown. Well, yeah, no, I didn't do any of that. Uh, Eddie, oh, anyway, came, Eddie so, came to business. So, so, so the the fan that shows up, new intake. Yeah. Oh, you're Bingo. She was on the payphone next to Bingo talking to her husband, saying, "Oh my God, you're not going to believe <laughs> who I'm in a fucking twelve patient <laughs> mental institution." Listen, I know I don't have a a widespread fan base, much less name recognition. And bingo on the other side, like, like bingo to be in a fucking 12 person mental hospital in Arizona. And someone comes in and goes, Oh my God. So I said, switch phones. <laughs> I want to talk to her for a minute because they only get 10 minutes at best. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm, I can't believe I'm meeting you like this, and my husband's not gonna, and uh, and f- for the first time in the first four days she was in, I went, all right, at least, and she had the 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 new intake had been there before, so I'm like, all right, you know oh. some of the ropes, and that new intake is not there right now because she was a wailing in agony overnight, keeping the ward awake. With a bowel obstruction, oh, that they God. would not give her. Uh, they they wouldn't yeah. send her to a hospital. And Bingo's going. I don't know what to do. And I was like, tell her to call nine one one. She goes, Yeah, I could do that. I go, No, you don't do that. Yeah, yeah, tell yeah. her to do that. You call ruin the shower. Nine one one because <laughs> yeah, the fucking cops aren't going to go. Oh, we trust you. Yeah. It's fuck. It's so fucked up. And our person here at, I don't know, whatever they changed it to, it's not CIA anymore. If you listen to No Place Like Home, Mm -hmm. yeah, they changed the name. There's a few things in my career I can go, I think I was the catalyst for that change. And that's the... they changed it to a name I can't remember. C H A. That doesn't anyway, sound. That doesn't fr- sound like surveillance. M- Michelle, yeah. the local caseworker on point, is fucking more infuriated than me or Bingo at the fucking lack 
They're supposed to, within 72 hours, have like uh, something set up for, a, I was going to say rejection, for what she gets out. Yeah. Yeah, the fucking removal protocol of when do we get her out of release. there. What's, when she's released. Yeah. And they won't return her calls. They wouldn't return my calls. The last podcast, I was a lot more upset than I was the morning after. But now it turns out I was kind of right. <laughs> you were doing, I remember hearing, overhearing when I walked in, you were, you were having some kind of discussion about, uh, well, whatever happened, I walked in and it was heated. And then you did the look. Peter, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> and I'm like, oh boy, this is this fever pitch, and now you're you're in the calm down. It, it's that's the problem. You can never find the person responsible, yeah. but we can. Well, there's <laughs> well, that too. actually other people, <laughs> but I did reach out to other people that know how to do shit. And then the next day, I go, Bingo's got this. All right, now yeah, I, you know, now I, mean, I can communicate with her. I know what's up. It sucks. The The entire system sucks. It's still as violently frustrating as it's ever been. But Bingo's, I could talk to Bingo to know that she's dealing with it. Yeah. She has to, it's the old bit I used to do about uh, pre boarding airplanes, cutting edge material back in those <laughs> CD days. But the, the, well, no, I was using it as an analogy. Mm-hmm. All right. Fucking, why do I shit on myself before I have to? It was an analogy to something where I'm like, it's the same way we pre board airplanes where the slowest, most encumbered people get to be the pace car <laughs> <laughs> and slow everybody else down. Why don't the fucking people in a wheelchair board last? They're sitting down. <laughs> it was a that was an analogy to something more important but that's what bingo is doing she's last in line for play-doh <laughs> randomly because that's like <laughs> they had to do crossword puzzles today tracy no way she called me oh my God. and i thought she was just joking with me 14 across I thought she was just talking about what she had for breakfast, but putting it in a crossword puzzle way. Something that you spread uh, 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 spread peanut butter, uh, not, not peanut butter, uh, something you spread cream cheese or butter on. Five letters. Go ahead, Tracy. Bagel. Yes. And a- every one of the fucking crazies said bagel and it was bread. And they were cream cheese. Yes, that's the dead giveaway that it's bagel. I know. Oh my god, that's no. how you tell them it's not toast. No, people- it said cream cheese. It can't be toast. It can't be bread. It's bagel. And and the people they're making play with play doh and just coloring. Um, Maybe I- it was cream cheese, <laughs> <laughs> not play white play doh. <laughs> <laughs> the the point is like they even. Or like they're smarter than, but no, the fuck. Well, the dumbest person in the fucking room. They don't. She's in uh uh, uh again, just like the fucking Valley Arts and Crafts Hospital. She's in a mental illness slash substance abuse unit. Oh. Hey, how the fuck? Yeah. Do you put that together? <laughs> Are you having legal trouble and don't know where to turn? Trying to find an attorney you can trust? Do you think you've been cheated out of contingent compensation of back-end proceeds from third parties in the territory defined as North America and Mexico, including but not limited to all ancillary and subsidiary rights, whether audio-only, video-only, audio-video, or otherwise? Don't let a legal entity based in a mid-shore jurisdiction for legal or other purposes kick sand in your face. Not me. Call Eric Greenspan at the law offices of my man Greenspan, Feynman, Fox, Rosenberg, and Light. Eric Greenspan, when physical intimidation isn't enough. Call Eric Greenspan, 310-820-7717. And keep calling. Mention Kenny for mayor and get 10% discount. 
This advertisement has been approved. <laughs> Why didn't this happen at the beginning of COVID where I didn't have to fucking get high and try to write material <laughs> and and focus on something that made me batshit crazy? I, 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 I've squandered my entire... Just write it down. No, we've talked about it all of COVID, how we've squandered COVID. <laughs> I, hold on a second. We've been putting out podcasts for the entire COVID. Yeah, remember but no, remember that, when Shane Gillis was here? Yeah, yeah but the, the Eons point is, ago? How many podcasts have we talked about all the things we were going to do during COVID that we never did? What? Well, we were busy. But we, we've been busy. I was so happy, <laughs> Chaley. We didn't go on tour. You're I right. was so happy. I, I was going to say the early days, but most of the days, <laughs> like most of COVID, I had all my fucking house finally put together. And now. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's turned to shit again. Like oh. everything, everything's fucked. There's pet hair ever like, like sweaters worth of pet hair everywhere. Henry decided she's going to stay in the house like for a year. She wouldn't come in the house except yeah. for rare occasions. She'd sleep out there. And I, then I could run the Zumba. Uh-huh. The fucking Zumba would yeah. vacuum everything up. But now she's inside all the time looking sadder and sadder and more like I need bacon for breakfast. Uh, and I can't even run the fucking Zumba because it scares the fuck out of her. And she won't come downstairs and hang out with us anymore. I don't. No, I've given up. She doesn't even like the ramp. I see her like mm-hmm. she can't even do a ramp. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Raiders in charge. He asked, "Hey, if uh, something has to happen with Henry while you're away, uh, yep, yeah, you're on it. <laughs> Say no more. Yep. <laughs> you know where the shovel is. <laughs> <laughs> Call Chad Shank. Oh, should I just get the?" Headstone? Well, we need the date. Yeah. Next to uh, Ichabod. Mm -hmm. So, if you're coming out on the road, (laughs) if you're coming to see the show, there's more being added. There's going to be more being added. I thought you were going to say you're going to hit the jackpot, the show that Henry died. (laughs) (laughs) It's just going to reanimate. <laughs> it's it, it, it goes up $50 every <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's filling up, yeah. man. I'm, I'm like, I mean, I'm, I, I'm looking at the calendar right now. I mean, August is, we'll be gone all of August, and then, then we'll do some fly-in dates. I, I don't know. Am I doing the fly-in dates? Uh, yeah, I, I was going to ask uh, that Brian Hennigan uh, about uh, travel, because I know I, I booked our travel from Chicago or to Chicago, but I don't know about the other parts. I have to, it's one of my notes. Well, there's Boston, uh, Connecticut, uh, which is a state. I, it's Mashin, Mashin. It's it? fucking Foxwoods. Fox I don't know Woods, why. Yeah, I, uh, why is Tucson not on the, uh, uh, that, that already sold out. Oh, okay. That sold out. It was just for the mailing list. If you go to DougStandup.com. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's fucking dates that are not on the mailing list. I mean, on the website. Yep. Because they're, you know, they so- if you sell out on the fucking mailing list, why post it? There's a number of those. And uh, if uh, just if you, if, if you hit one, uh, just look on the site. There, there might be another one the next night. But because sometimes it, it just goes to the. the well, you know, date. there's a, that, uh, that lady. I, I'm, uh, she's. I got a email from her saying hey do you still she had approached me about doing dates and then we just booked our our own date she's like uh, do you still want to do that date because people in tucson would love to and i'm like i didn't email back what we already booked that and then i thought because you were on special assignment that you forgot to put it on the website no i did i didn't because uh it's already sold out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, she might have seen, oh, he already has a date and not hmm. made me feel bad for not getting back to her. But, nah. Yeah. That was, what, that was a fun place, by I the way. I think what I'm saying, Mr. Chaley, yeah? is I have no idea where I'm going unless yeah. I check my own website or someone <laughs> t- 
tweets it at me. And as you can tell, I'm not really on Twitter anymore because Twitter is not good for business. When you're on Twitter and you're, you know, a week out from your first fucking tour date and you're looking at Twitter comments, you're, you're not writing fucking jokes while you're high with an audience. The fucking audiences have been beautiful high. <laughs> you're in the head audiences. Uh, before you, uh, I'm going to get ahead of the response is, oh, I'll get you high before your show. I heard your podcast. I'll get you high before the show. No, the audience in my mind is beautiful. In reality, the clash would destroy me. And I would have to say, hey, Greg Chaley, can you read these notes verbatim? <laughs> because I am way too high because of that guy that thought he'd help. <laughs> I am looking forward to the road, regardless. Fucking sink or swim. At my worst, I think I should just kill myself. And if you haven't thought about killing yourself during the pandemic, you're not really a fan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a good team. It's jam packed, dude. I'm I'm looking at it right now. It's it's crazy. I love I love the miles because we just got done on special assignment doing a lot of miles, and the fucking the van's fucking tip top, and the road's busy again though. <coughs> There's fucking trucks out there like a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. There's traffic again. Fucking got- hotels in Tucson oh did God. not drop. Like this is where crazy, this summer. Right? I keep checking, hey, I could go up to uh, Tanque Verde, that fucking place. We loved that a couple years ago. Uh, that's I'll just a re- wait for that's the- a resort, though. Yeah, but the, in the summer, the prices yeah. drop. They oh, never drop. Yeah, 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 it's 112 yeah, degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. That's, that's when we went. $90. It was, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I am looking forward to it. Yeah, there's a and, and you know it's funny because that August twentieth date, <clears throat> Denver, San Francisco, uh, they've all, those have been sold out since before the pandemic. Those are the makeup dates. So really, August twentieth is when we finally, hopefully, this is uh this is something I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't even bring it up, but I already did start. Uh. I'll I'll take a shot. I think I'm gonna have to do yeah. like extra I'm, editing here. I am I <laughs> like I, I'm thinking what if my audience is like me that has no memory of two nights ago, much less buying tickets to a fucking spring twenty twenty Doug Stanhope show that doesn't know ah fuck. I I, I forgot I even bought those tickets. Like, what if we're, I used to make this joke about walkouts when I, uh, when I, uh, you know, early in my career when people had no idea what they're coming to see and people would walk out or even, you know, recently in your past years where people were getting thrown out because they're too drunk to fucking even be yeah, there. Yeah, I've been drinking since noon with the, the whiskey. The joke yeah. was, I, I'm, I'm the only guy I could sell out the same show twice because there's people in the <laughs> lobby hoping someone doesn't show up mm-hmm. and you're already getting thrown out. I would love to sell out the same show twice. Now I'm thinking, what if we have a fucking sold out theater show and people forgot they had tickets? Everybody forgot. They're playing to fucking 18 people at a fucking 800 <laughs> seater. I'll, I'll be out front with a, a like a candy striped jacket and a, one of those change things that the carnies wear. <laughs> 75 cent tickets, get on up here. Chink, chink, chink. <laughs> yeah, so no, that's the change thing. Because we've we've had people. It's it's not just you. Can I get a a a, a press pass guy? <laughs> so, I, I put that on Hennigan, a photographer. Can I get a press pass? Yeah. I'm a photographer, and I've done work with. And he drops a bunch of names with photos, and but I don't I don't like to get my picture taken anyway. I sent it to Hennigan, 
who always like they're still using fucking promo shots of me 12 years ago mm-hmm. with hair and stuff and I'm like why is that well probably because we don't have new ones or they just like to choose those I don't know I, but we, we've talked about this I, I'd like to, to hear you say it uh, why the fuck do we need press on the night of a sold out show why do we need press no it's not press he's a photographer so he wants to come in and take pictures for what that I in can two years use when we as come long back? as I give him credit. But, but, but yeah, but for and what? Then, to what end? And, and, and to help you. All that does is he's going to take pictures during the show yeah, and annoy me and the audience or do them backstage before the show, which annoys me That's and fucks worse. up my yeah. set. So that I'm going over like an open micer pacing back and forth behind the dumpster while this guy takes pictures of me with three yellow notebooks fucking velcroed to my forearm <laughs> <laughs> like brady with the, <laughs> the sweat band <laughs> yeah uh yeah uh look number one if uh someone says that they're supposed to be a photographer and then it's like hey, he's also be- 20 years old oh. yeah he put that in i like, mm-hmm. ah man i'll do that so if, a, if, a, if someone says they're coming in for press and, and Hennigan goes, yeah, there, there might be a, a press guy there. If pr- Hennigan thinks I need photos, because my best fucking shots in recent history that we use are fucking Hennigan. Yeah. Hennigan, or yeah, I, yeah. I've done some uh, backstage where you're smoking by the dumpster or uh, super special green room areas. Those are great because it's, it's you... There's not you going like, oh, fuck, this guy's lining up to take a shot. It's me standing there, and you're running a set and smoking a cigarette, and I take a picture. Hennigan, the same thing. You're comfortable. You're not on, like, well, You edge. don't tell me what to do. No, exactly. But uh, what I'm saying is, like, when I when a, a photographer that I know is supposed to be coming, and I say, my our thing is, like, you can take pictures in the first five to ten minutes, and that's it. And if I look down, he's got a fucking flash on his camera. Get the fuck out of here. Because you don't need a fucking yeah. flash, you cunt. <laughs> and if they're doing that, they're just trying to get into the show where they're like, oh, I work for the fucking, the the, the weekly Senegal yeah, Daily the, Planet, motherfucker. Yeah, it, it just wanted to. Yeah, no, this I, I did check the guy's credentials and he had. Whatever. And you and, know why? Wait, do you know why I took the time to click on his link? And see what he's done for at least a brief second was because I was supposed to be writing my act. I was going to say, because you were supposed to be doing something else. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. that. I was, I was watching some movie that said, this makes me want to get to work and write. <laughs> this movie's so fucking bad. You know, on special assignment, it was really interesting because I actually got a chance to... uh uh, fail at something <laughs> really bad. Uh, we walked in. We had a, we had a, a, a double booking for on special assignment. We had a double booking for the Friday night, so we 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 picked up a gig with someone we don't know at a venue we don't know. And then I go, hey, on the way there, let's just stop by. We'll grab a bite at lunch. They're open, right? And it's a big. It's a block long. This place. And we walk in, and I the know, venue, the venue, yeah. and I walk in. Um, you know me, when I walk in, I want to see the fucking board. I want to see what the fuck, where's the stage and everything like that. And as soon as we walk in, just like 90 degrees to the right, I'm like, oh, fuck, that better not be the stage because there is no stage. (laughs) And I fucking didn't do like the things I usually do, like ask the staff, like, so what's going on here tonight? I didn't do any of the, I didn't press them. For at, at least Chaley did open mic for tour managing where I have not done open mic for my act. At least you're prepared. Well, that was that was the thing. It was like we got there. I'm like, oh, this place is big. Oh, they, there's probably a stage to bring out. I could have just gone in there and, and built a fucking stage in 10 minutes, you know, like not yeah. even asking anyone. But they had so much. I looked around. And then when we got back there that night, nothing had changed. They just put a PA and it was what whatever. Anyway, we were appreciative to the the place that we had the show at, but it did make me realize. Hang, hang on, I'm gonna. Uh, can you just uh, throw that into the sink in the main house? 
and replace it with a white Russian. Oh yeah, I gotta close. I gotta close this thing. About that. Holy shoot! So it did make me realize. Uh, I think I was a little off my game. Hi, I'm glad I'm here at this uh, this retreat <laughs> to learn how to fucking road manage again. Because yeah, that was a that was a big fail. I could have. Well, I couldn't have changed what happened, but uh, I certainly uh, would have been more on point to. I, I I would love if we could uh, have some kind of betting site for will the Delta variant shut down any of these gigs again? Because Denver, Boston, and San Francisco are all push gigs. Those have been pushed. The, are the, oh, the Boston ones are makeups. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They're all makeup. That's, yeah, dates. that's the one you were there, but you you didn't do it, and then you went to Vegas. I think Denver will probably be good. It's San Francisco and Boston. There, like those are the two places that would be the first to go. Okay, we can't have this. I'm yeah. guessing, but uh, I don't know. And I'll see about Tucson. What's going on with that? If we need to um, put anything on the website. If they're going to add another date or what's going on. Uh, other than that, yeah, stuff's every week. Stuff is added. Yeah, we're, we're uh, since since you woke up tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, things are being added. Uh, but I we we're definitely taking Thanksgiving off. Uh, I was a, a a simple moment for me was whatever betting fucking online service that I, I'm either using or used to use sends me these covert, like I'm getting boner pills and fucking ecstasy in the mail, like <laughs> no return address. The new of. Silk Road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they just sent what is uh, traditionally throughout my, my uh, adult life, the fucking football schedule. Oh, you know the one we put that yeah, will yeah. be on this refrigerator, and I can stare at a f- brand new this season's football schedule the same way I can stare at a road atlas, and I can just look at okay, yeah, that, oh, that's there to there. We played that, and this is how long it would take to get. That looks pretty brown, honey. This white Russian just, looks pretty up. brown. It got mixed up. The brown will settle again. You are listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. Uh, so as yeah, I was looking at Thanksgiving, like, like I'm, I'm coming back into what it felt like to be 30 years on the road. And then having a year off where I'm fucking honey homemaker. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, that's right. We always scheduled around the fucking good games. Thanksgiving has good games. Chicago plays Detroit. I always love Detroit on Thanksgiving. I don't care who they play. Uh, uh, Why? Just because of the, Detroit. the tradition? They're fucking yeah. they're the best. Ultimate. The, the, the Detroit Lions and the Cleveland Browns are the two long-term teams that have never been to a Super Bowl. Uh, Texans and the Jaguars are the new two. Who gives a Browns fuck? were close, though, right? Never been to a Super but, Bowl. But weren't they very close in the, in the all, postseason? Yeah. yeah, they've always been close. Because that's Kenny's team, right? Yep. No, yeah. he's no, Cincinnati. He's oh, Cincinnati, that's right. That's, that's what I'm thinking about. Point being, that's the early game. The Dallas Cowboys always play the afternoon game on Thanksgiving. And they're playing the Las Vegas Raiders. Ooh, that's hope they both a, lose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's I hope F one is that weekend. <laughs> new evil versus old evil, <laughs> and then the night game, which is r- relatively new to us old people. Uh, the night game is uh, uh, Buffalo at New Orleans, which uh, two great teams that you rarely see play each other. Wait, Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Who's who in the fun houses for the Bills? Doesn't matter. It's they're both good teams and they rarely play mm. each other. The, anyway, the point is I get to stare at a fucking instead, instead of instead of writing. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, I do have a question. Are we bringing the the uh, the uh, reclining chairs back in the funhouse? I don't know. All right. Because when I mean, you're talking about football, I'm just, you know. Yeah, it's fucking football. Yeah. We're back in the game, baby. Yeah. Fuck football. Football was great last year. Every sport was great <laughs> last year because it was something to look at. And now, fuck it. We're the game. We're the main event. With Junior Stopka here and again, Olivia Grace. Uh, oh, Donovan and uh, Adam Gilbert in Chicago. I'm going to have to figure out how that works. Which night? September 10th th- or 11th? I I think both. I don't know. I, oh, uh, oh, yeah. That, that might be it. I know Adam Gilbert, I think, confirmed for both. But they're both, well, and, and we'll probably, we have to have a little bit of Junior Stopka if he's in town. Chicago. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, where would he be? Unpaid set. Oh, maybe he's going to uh, uh, to the East Coast, to the Red Lobster to get lobster again. <laughs> <laughs> We're putting the band back together, man. Very excited. I uh, Yeah, just come out and just fucking, just plan on having fun. I do want to uh, mention... Uh, you are playing every single helium. Let me see. One, two, three. yeah. Well, four. I think there's there's five. I'm not sure, but well, you're playing four heliums, and you've never played helium before. That's new. Yeah, That's new. Yeah, it's be yeah. interesting. Yeah, I always wanted to play heliums. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, some of those are sold out. So just keep hitting the links and find which one is uh, still available. Definitely get on the mailing list because evidently. My fucking SEAL Team 6 here doesn't put up gigs that sold out on the mailing list <laughs> to fucking get you to get on the mailing list. That is the best. Yeah, I was talking to the guy in Tucson, and he's like, uh, yeah, it's already sold out. I was writing shit oh about fucking being, you know, uh, and never mind. You'll hear it. <laughs> why, why am I going to riff what I've been writing? <laughs> So you remind me. Remember from the podcast, you said you were writing about... Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> what was that thing at minute 44 in episode I'll get you high right now. <laughs> God damn it. Writing high is the best thing you can ever do, even if it just winds out pointless. Fucking write high. In your 30 years prior to COVID, have you ever written high? No. Yeah. No, uh, uh, no, I just get really fucking paranoid high. Anytime I get high, I was like, no, nothing was funny. I was funny. What's funny about me? Why you guys keep looking at me? (laughs) All you're doing is looking in a mirror. (laughs) Quit looking at me. You talking to me? You joking at me? So, uh, why is it different now? Doug, is it because it's edibles and not smoking? Why is it different? Well, it started that sober October, uh, where I was just cleaning out here yeah, in the middle of the night, preparing for football the next day, and I found the weird edibles. Mm-hmm. Or I, I thought they were just- You, you, you thought they were chocolates. And you had, no, you gummy, gummy oh, the peach gummies. rings. Yeah, that's right. They were gummy peach rings, and I'm like, well, why do they sell them in a bag this small? I'm not fucking- putting these out in their own dish there's only a few left so i (laughs) ate the last three and then it was valentina said uh you know those are edibles and i'm like oh fuck and then i had a great time i didn't like weed always gave me the cotton mouth was the worst part Uh, your mouth tastes like you fucking ate you know shit syrup and (laughs) and it ruined the taste of cigarettes which, if you're ruining cigarettes for me, this is like some kind of forced indoctrination into quitting smoking. Like, no. It's like ant abuse for alcohol. <laughs> uh, I'm going to throw up if I fucking drink. I, I don't want this. You're killing. But that, no, I smoked a lot and I was high. And I'm you high smoked now. a lot. You, you ate, ate a lot. lot. You gummied a no, lot. No, I ate. I, I got high and I could still smoke cigarettes. Oh, oh cigarettes. Oh, cigarettes got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
All right, let's just shut this off. I don't know why you wanted me to do a podcast so Well, bad. I was very concerned that um, the voices in your head weren't getting enough uh, attention. What? It's brown, you're right. Sorry. Why are you putting vodka in an orange? You're should. supposed to be putting milk, milk in a brown fucking white Russian. You don't have any milk out here? I'm not. She's saving steps. I was. I missed you guys a lot, and I'll be honest, I missed you guys a lot. But the insanity wrote, drove me to write a lot. It was hard to be on special assignment because uh, you were definitely missed. To just be out and about and not going up to do a set or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I, I wish you were there. But I I was hoping you were getting some I'll stuff done. Probably, by the, if I even read the note that I wrote, because I'm, now I'm writing in my computer, my laptop and in uh, uh, long form and in notes to the side, if I can figure out ever how to combine them and I use Brett Erickson's opening line, I hope you remind me because I will take pride in stealing <laughs> something that I wrote in front of you that you go, yeah, Brett Erickson. But at the same time, I'm like, uh, if Erickson fucking thought of it, that's anyone could think of it. Oh, <laughs> man. Not cool, bro. He was on fire on Saturday night. He was. He was I, he oh, my God. He must have been after Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Well, after Friday. It was so, it was so, it was, it was like so, it, it was like the whole thing of like, those two were worth it for the Saturday. Let me put, for the record, I was just fucking with Brett Erickson oh, yeah. on that last thing. But. Fuck you, Brett Erickson. When he showed up, and I don't know what other people are doing with their lives. I'm fucking terrified. I have to go back out on the road. And I said, oh, shit, you got to remind me to retweet that you're playing in Tucson tomorrow. And he's like, uh, and there was this weird, awkward. And then you said, I'll tweet it. Chaley says, I'll... I ended up retweeting Christine Levine. That's what I retweeted. Yeah. He's not promoting his dates. This goes back to the fucking MySpace days, Erickson. You fucking cut. You don't even promote where you're playing. And then uh, I was talking to Raider. I go, well, he starts so much shit on Twitter. He probably doesn't want people to know where he's playing because they'll show up and confront him. I don't know. I don't know why you don't promote your own day. Like, I'm trying to help you. You're a fucking great comic. And but doesn't doesn't it work the same if you just retweet Christine because she has the link and everything to the yeah. to the tickets? No, no. Well, she wrote something really kind of fucking daft about. Oh, he's one of my favorite comics, yeah. and we book him because he cleans up after our mess, which just sounds like oh, this is the guy that brought the PA, so we had to book him. <laughs> It was like uh, <laughs> that was I, I retweeted <laughs> shit. Like she, uh, she meant well, but it wasn't yeah. a great. Like okay, how, how about he just writes on his own Twitter? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna be in Tucson sure. tonight, and I can write back. Oh, hey, Brett Erickson is one of my favorite comics. Rather than retweet what someone else, yeah, had to tweet their a own less pointed. Uh, yeah, promotion. I can yeah. I can do the fucking yeah. sizzle. I can punch up the script if you just write. I'm going to be here tonight. Yeah, I get it. I, I really, I, 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 thought, I thought just retweeting what she was, what she wrote was enough. But you're right. I, I should just do something. Not like, you. I'm talking about Brett Erickson. Well, I mean, did not put, I did say I, I, would I will be at Tucson in Tucson yeah. tonight. Yeah. But how the fuck do you, <laughs> how do you fucking differentiate between that and Inman? Well, we did get eight people there paid, so that's better than Inman. They were fucking there <laughs> early for karaoke. Well, they uh, paid no, so I don't they could so. get their I don't think no, so. Because <laughs> when karaoke was starting, it was like they had a better uh, Twitter following. <laughs> and they said, hold off. Don't get here until 930. I, yeah. Because when they rolled in. They were here for karaoke. At one point, some no, dude was, was saying, singing Phantom of the Opera. And I'm like, is this a fucking joke? And he did the whole fucking song. He, um, he was about 410. <laughs> it was a scene, man. <laughs> yeah. We closed that place.
Where's the cigarettes? Oh, shit. Sorry. Jams. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I thought we were already done. No, no. You, you got oh, smoke. so all the shit I said about Brett Erickson not promoting his own fucking shows, and I'm stealing his goddamn opening line because I wrote it right in front of Tracy, and she goes, oh, he already did that the other night. Yeah. Now I'm going to do it stronger and better, and I'm going to promote where I am that night. Mm. It's, it's a good plan. Yep. Next time on Issues with Andy, have Andy give Erickson shit <laughs> for not promoting his game. Because I, I'm promote. Well, actually, no, I'm promoting Paul Provenza's tweets of do listen to fucking Andy's new special or watch it. Uh, Andy Andrist, what's the name of it? Last shot. Last shot. That's right. Go to naturejack.com. You get all the information there. All right. Uh, bingo. Take us out of this with a warbled voice from a mental institution that you. I thought you already went. What did you say? I'm sorry. That you may never get out of. Okay. Bye bye now. <laughs> It's me, Tom Papa, from the United States of America. And it's Sarah Singer Schiff from Canada. And we have an amazing new podcast called Stars, Stripes, and Maple, maple Leafs. Leafs. Yeah, why are you putting the emphasis on the Maple Leafs? Because <laughs> I'm Canadian. And I'm American. And we're going to finally have a conversation and figure out who the hell are our next door neighbors. Yeah, well, we know all about you, that's for sure. Well, you should, because we're number one. (laughs) And why we're so different and so much alike at the same time. Exactly. All the things that you thought you knew. Food. Politics. Music. Sex. Culture. Sex. Celebrities. They always like when you throw sex in. (laughs) Every Wednesday, there'll be a new episode where we dive into the culture of all things Canadian and American. Available on Spotify. Apple Podcasts, and wherever you get your podcasts. Where do Canadians get podcasts? Same place as you. Oh, you're so different. Sorry.